terrestrial habitats the dwelling place or the surrounding in which an organism live is called its habitat every habitat has biotic factor which consists of living organisms and abiotic factor which consists of non living factors such as sunlight air water and temperature the habitat of an organisms live on land is called terrestrial habitat some of the terrestrial habitats are deserts mountains forests and grasslands let's talk about deserts the abiotic factor in the desert including a lot of sunlight the sand eats up very fast and cool down very fast so there is a very hot climate during day and very cold climate during night there is very less rainfall in the desert so water availability is very small even the ground water is at higher depth the biotic factors include different animals and plants the plants have long roots in order to reach the ground water the plants have green stem capable of photosynthesis leaves are generally absent if present they are very small or in the form of spines it helps to reduce the loss of water through transpiration there is a thick waxy layer on the stem which helps to preserve water in their tissue animals like camel have long leg which keep their body away from the hot sand they have thick fur to protect the body during cold nights hump on their body stores food in the form of fats which provides energy for a long time while wide feeds helps them to walk easily on sand rats and snakes stay inside the burrow present in the deep sand for the protection from higher temperature they come out when it is cooler that is during night mountain regions mountain are much above the sea level which have higher altitude the temperature decreases due to which there is a cold climate in the mountain the air is freely flowing through these regions there is a frequent rainfall and snowfall in this region to adapt such environment the plants have conical shape the branches are sloping from the stem and leaves are narrow like a needle due to which the rain water and snow slide down easily and does not get accumulated on the branches it keeps the plant protect from excess water and snow animals have thick skin or have thick layer of fur on their body which protect them from cold the mountain goat can run on rock slopes of the mountain with its strong hooves forest and grassland sufficient rainfall maintains the moisture in the soil it is helpful for growing of an grass there are large number of animals and plants in such habitat animals like lion obtain its food from hunting other animals such as deer the animal which hunt other animals for food is called predator while the animal that is hunted and killed by another animal for food is called prey both have adaptation for survival the brown color of lion helps to hide in the brown grass they have eyes at the front of the face to get correct location of its prey sharp claws and teeth help them to catch their prey male lions has mane which protect their neck deer on other hand has eyes on the side of their face they have long ears to hear movement around them with which they can identify the danger easily they run at very high speed and stay protected from their predators for 
eating grass they have strong teeth i hope understand this topic very well thanks for watching